Chef Buck here, and today we're having some rambutan. We got the big bag of rambutan. Rambutan, if you buy it in a bag like this, it is basically a big bag of spiders. Or like trivets. It, yeah, or triffids. Tribbles. Tri tribbles. 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 Yeah, yeah. Like tribbles. in, was that Star Trek? Yeah, tribbles. These here are kind of dark, and uh, when they get older, they darken up a little bit. But you can't eat a lot of this. A lot of this is just uh, for looks. It's just for scary looks. It's just a spider facade. It's like they're all dressed up for Halloween. Because what you're going to eat is inside. So to get in here, we're just going to take a knife. And we're just going to cut around the outside to get to the part that we're going to eat. You just open it up. <gasps> Boom. Look at that. It's like a prize. You know, it's like when you, uh, when you put like a nickel in the little vending machine and you used to get that little plastic doohickey out and it had a toy inside. It's a quarter That's and 50 cents here. now. A quarter and 50 cents, I don't know. It was a nickel back when I used to do that as a kid. You're dating yourself. But uh, this is basically what you're gonna eat. This here, you don't do nothing with this. This is the rambutan. But you just don't wanna plop this in your mouth and crunch down because there's a pit in here. So you can't eat the outside, you can't eat the inside. Rambutan is like a uh, pyramid scheme. What are you talking about? Avocado's like that. Avocado isn't putting on airs. Not trying to pretend to be something oh. it's not. So let's take a bite. I'll try just to eat half of it. So you can see, you eat the white part, and inside it's a pit that you don't eat. And it's so juicy. It's juicy? Yeah, 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 it's very wet. I think it's better than a grape. Really? I'm not a big fan of grapes. There's something about grapes, maybe because a lot of times grapes are tart, yeah. But a rambutan's sweet. I tell you, once you start eating these, it's uh, kind of hard to stop. It's very uh, juicy. So do these give you a different kind of, uh, I don't know, different nutrients than we usually get in our everyday foods? It's supposed to be good for your uh, digestion. Huh? You know, they're supposed to loosen you up. That's what your half shell looks like when you cut into it. It's kind of a thick little casing there. There's nothing to do with this here. You could keep your change in here if you're poor. You know, if you've only got maybe two nickels to rub together, that'll fit in there. You know, it's just like pop brain surgery, I guess. That's cool. cool. It's kind of this juicy white orb, sort of the consistency of a human eyeball. You know, if you've ever had to do battle with another tribe and then you want to eat the eyeballs of your slain victims so that you can, I guess, see what they're up to. Are you even mm -hmm. serious? And so now we're going to try rambutan in a can. Sometimes, you know, you might not be able to find fresh rambut. You might have to get it in a can. Yeah, but sure. You know, folks in uh, Oklahoma, on. you know, they're eating can rambut. Come on. Boom, and look at that. That's already peeled. You don't even have to fool with that. Are they pitted, too? They're pitted. Holy cow, they're pitted. They're in syrup. You this might what? be the rambut of my dreams. What's the verdict on canned rambut? It tastes like a pear. Yeah. In a light syrup, but it has a little more, um, a little more texture. Maybe. If I close my eyes, this just tastes like fruit cocktail. No, but doesn't it have a little more texture? It does have more texture. It's a little chewier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Than a fruit cocktail. Well, chewy. So which would you choose? I would choose the can. Huh? No. Is this here? You know, you got, you got a. You gotta cut it, you know, and then you gotta pull it out, and then you gotta fool with the pit. Are and you this was, kidding? You know, we paid a, what, what did we pay? A two, a little more than two bucks a pound. No. You so, know what? So all of these no. ram, so all this big old mess of spidery rambutan, you know, cost me around seven bucks. And this cost me, I think, two dollars? You can say fresh is the best, but... Cans, my man. What's up? <laughs> my rambutan costs two twenty nine a pound. So if you have rambutan where you live, how much does it cost? Because I'm always interested in whether or not I got ripped off. If you see some hairy looking spider things in the produce market, go ahead and uh, pick up a few and try to buy them because it might be fruit. <laughs> might be some rambutan. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You know, if you want to check out some recipes, go to myfoodchannel.com. You can check out all our recipes there. I like eating food with a knife. Makes me feel like a badass. Oh Lord. Hey honey, go get me a go get me a beer out of the fridge while I finish these rambutin.